In this video, I'm going to show you how to create realistic looking tattoos on your body. This is the finished example of what we will be creating today. You can see the tattoo has wrapped nicely around his arm, taking into account all the different contours, the veins, the shadows, and the lighting. Okay, we did originally start with a picture like this. We found a tattoo online, and that's what we ended up wrapping around his arm to come up with the finished product. So let's get into Photoshop and get started by opening up this picture of the man's body and also a picture of the tattoo. Okay. From here we're going to start with the picture of the man and we're going to make a selection of his arm just up the top here where we want the tattoo to go. So the tool we need to use is the quick selection tool and I'm going to simply click and drag from his shoulder down towards his elbow. And that's going to make a selection all around here. I'm just going to go a little bit further into that gap there so I get a bit more of his shoulder. Okay, so once you've got a selection like that, it's basically where the sleeve of a tattoo would go. We need to save that selection. So we go up to the select menu, and right down to the bottom we choose save selection. And the name you want to give this selection is called arm, and we'll click on OK. We're finished with that selection now, so you can go to select and deselect, or just press Control D for the shortcut. And over in our layers panel now to the right, we're going to make a copy of this layer. The quick way to do that is press Ctrl J. When you press Ctrl J, you'll see that layer 1 appears above your background. And this layer here is what we're going to use to create a displacement map. Now a displacement map is going to help us wrap the tattoo around his arm. And they usually work best if they're blurred a little bit. So let's go up to our filter menu. And we're going to go down to blur and choose Gaussian blur. And we're going to change the radius to 3 pixels and click OK. You can see that our image becomes slightly blurred. Once it is blurred, we need to save that image by going to File and Save As. I'm going to save mine on my desktop. You can save yours in your account though. Make sure you save it somewhere where you will remember it and you won't lose it. Because we will be coming back to it later in the tutorial. I want you to give it the name Displacement and leave it as a PSD file. And just click Save. Okay, I already had a copy of that, so I'll just replace it. If this box comes up, click OK. Alrighty, we're finished with that blurred layer now, so you can go down the bottom of your Layers panel and just trash that layer, so we'll be left with just the background again. And we're going to pop over to our Tattoo picture now. I'm going to press Control 0 just to zoom in a bit. And what we want to do is make a selection of just the black areas in this picture. We don't want the white background, we need to separate the black from the white background. So, I'm going to go over to my selection tools and use the magic wand tool. Okay, I'm going to make sure that my size, oh, tolerance doesn't really matter here, I might set it to about 5 pixels. I'm going to leave anti-alias checked and I'm going to uncheck contiguous. Once you've got those settings in place, just click on the black in your picture and it should pick up all the black components in the picture there. So we've got a picture now with the black part selected. Over in your Layers panel, we're going to press Control J again, and what that's going to do is make a copy of that background layer, but it's going to remove the white and just leave us with our selection, which was the black part. Now, with Layer 1 selected, you can grab your Select tool just up here, your Move tool, sorry. You can pick up your tattoo, Drag it over to the Displacement tab, and while you're still dragging and clicking and holding, move it down to the picture of the body and drop it onto his arm. Okay, and that's now got a picture of our tattoo that we can move around and get into position. Okay, so using your Move tool, just move it into position. You may need to check Show Transform Controls so you can see the little levers that will allow you to rotate it slightly. If you want to resize it, feel free to resize it as well. Okay, so I usually hold shift when I resize pictures in Photoshop. Okay, and when you're all done, one's just a little bit laggy at the moment. Move it into the final position you want it, so there's good for me. Make sure you have a little bit overlapping off the edges, that's fine, because we're going to get rid of those bits in a moment. And click the tick at the top of your page to say that you're happy with those changes, and your picture will come back to a nice high quality. Okay, so that's looking pretty good at the moment. We might just blur this a little bit, just to make it look a bit more realistic. So go up to your filter menu, 
and in filter we'll go down to blur and we'll do the Gaussian blur again and just make it one pixel this time and click OK let's just slightly blur that a little bit from here we're going to go up to the filter menu now go to distort and displace and this is the effect that's going to help us wrap that tattoo around all the contours of his arm the settings that come up 10 10 stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels are exactly what we need so leave them as they are and click OK now dialog box will come up saying choose your displacement map and if you remember that picture we saved earlier called displacement that's what you need to find and open it and you can see that my tattoo has changed shape if I just work backwards a little bit I'll zoom in so you can see this if I just press Control Z a couple of times you can see how the tattoo has changed to start to wrap around the colors of his arm and the shape of his arm yes we've still got bits hanging over the edge but that's fine we're going to get rid of them in just a moment okay, so I'll just press Control Zero to zoom back out okay so to get rid of these little bits outside of his arm what we need to do is go over to our layers panel again and we're going to control click on this checkered box in layer one that's going to make a selection of our tattoo from here we're going to go back over to our layers panel and next to layers you've got channels we're going to click on the channels panel okay and this is a bit of a weird thing to do but what I need you to do here is hold control shift alt and then I want you to click on this little black and white box in the arm channel okay so here hold control shift alt and then click on the black and white box in the arm panel and you can see it's going to select what's inside his arm and deselect what's outside of his arm so the bits we don't need are no longer selected it's just the bits we want to keep okay so go back to your layers panel now and what we're going to do is go down the bottom of that panel and there's a little rectangle with a circle inside it if you click on that it's going to add a layer mask in and basically that's going to get rid of all the bits outside of our selection okay so that's looking pretty good now let's um, blend our tattoo into the skin a bit better by changing its blend mode so still clicked on layer one here we're going to change the blend mode from normal and we're going to go down about halfway to soft light it does make it a little bit hard to see but we'll fix that in a moment but that has blended our tattoo into the skin you can start to see the skin become revealed from underneath that tattoo and that's what we're looking for now we need to take a composite snapshot of this layer okay it sounds a bit weird and it's going to be quite tricky to do you've got to hold a lot of keys at the same time here so you need to hold control shift alt and then the letter e and when you press it layer 2 will appear so one more time that was just control shift alt and then e whoops i didn't need that up when you press that you will see that layer 2 has appeared when layer 2 appears i want you to press control j to copy it okay and you'll see above layer 2 you've got the layer 2 copy now okay now what we want to do is copy this um, layer mask from our second layer here and drag it up to the layer 2 copy which is on our top layer so you need to hold alt just click and drag that black little box up to the top layer and that places it in right next to our layer 2 copy alrighty so from here we're going to make an adjustment to the layer we're going to change the color and the brightness of that tattoo so what we're going to do still clicked on this layer 2 copy we're going to go to our little man here see that little thumbnail there of the man just click on that and we're going to go down the bottom of that box to the little circle that's black and white which lets you add an adjustment layer and we're going to add in hue and saturation okay now when this box comes up i want you to check this first option here that says it just wants to affect the layer below it if we don't check that box it's going to affect all layers and everything's going to change color but if we just check this box a little arrow appears and it indents itself and it says hey i'm just going to affect this layer below okay and that's just the tattoo alrighty so what we're going to do here we're going to change the saturation i'm going to drop it to about minus 20. it just takes a bit of color out of that tattoo 
and I'm also going to change the lightness. I'm going to darken this right down to about minus 50. Okay, and that really makes my tattoo stand out. You can adjust these levels as much as you like. Okay, not every picture is going to be the same, so you can play with different settings here. But basically, minus 20 for my saturation and minus 50 for my lightness is where I want to start. And that's making the tattoo look pretty good there. If you want to change the color of your tattoo, you can play around with the hue settings. Okay, as you drag them around, you can see you get different colors in the tattoo. Okay, and you can also play around with the saturation to make it more colorful and the lightness to get different effects. But let's just stick with that bluish kind of color, like around 0 0.0 there. That's roughly what a tattoo color is. So I'll stick with that. You can hit these little double arrows to hide that panel. Okay, so that's basically how you stick a tattoo onto your body. When you're all done, just go to File, Save for Web. Make sure you've got it set to a JPEG, and it's probably very high quality is what you're after. And just click Save. Okay, try it with different parts of your body and see if you can get some other things like text maybe written across your body. Um, you could go for some different tattoo shapes. You just have to go to Google Images and look up different tattoo um, shapes and bring them into Photoshop and work with them as you please. Alrighty, so have fun.